Blood pressure measures the amount of pressure that blood exerts on the walls of arteries as it passes through. Chronic high blood pressure, or hypertension, places more stress on the arteries, which places more stress on the heart muscle and contributes to buildup of unwanted tissue in the arteries. Persistent hypertension is a risk factor for strokes, heart attacks, heart failure, and renal failure. Hypertension often goes undiagnosed, so it is important to monitor blood pressure on a regular basis in order to maintain a healthy heart. First, make sure you have your blood pressure cuff and stethoscope on the table, and make sure equipment is in working order. Have the patient sit down in an upright position with their arm rested on a solid surface at the same level as their heart, with their palm facing upwards. Let the patient know that you will be taking their blood pressure and ask for their arms. In Spanish, say, La voy a tomar la presión. Siéntese vertical. Deme su brazo, por favor. If necessary, remove clothing from the upper arm of the patient. If clothing is present, say, Suba la manga, por favor. Locate the brachial artery by feeling for a pulse on the inside of the elbow, near where the bicep connects to the forearm. Place the blood pressure cuff on the patient's arm so the artery mark arrow points toward the brachial artery and wraps securely around the bicep of the patient's arm. Place the stethoscope in your ears and make sure that the earpieces are pointing forward. Place the stethoscope in the crease of the arm over the brachial artery where you felt the strongest pulse. Begin inflating the blood pressure cuff by continually squeezing the cuff bulb until the gauge reads 160 to 180 millimeters of mercury for females and 180 to 200 millimeters of mercury for males. If you still hear a pulse after inflation, continue inflating the cuff until no pulse is heard. Slowly deflate the beat blood pressure cuff at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. Deflating more quickly than this can cause inaccurate measurements. Listen for the first rhythmic sounds of the systolic blood pressure reading, which may resemble a tapping noise. This will usually occur around 150 to 110 millimeters of mercury. Listen for the sound to fade and record the pressure when the sound stops at, as the, blood, the diastolic blood pressure. This will usually occur around 100 to 80 millimeters of mercury. Record the two numbers on the patient's clinic sheet. If unable to obtain an accurate reading, repeat the procedure on the opposite arm. If this occurs, tell the patient that you will need to take their blood pressure on the opposite arm. In Spanish, say, Le voy a tomar la presión en el otro brazo. When finished with the procedure, thank them and direct them to the blood glucose station. In Spanish, say, Gracias. Siga ahí, por favor.